Yo, what's up guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another video. Now in today's video, we've got quite a lot to cover, but before we get into it, I have a couple announcements. Number one, I'm going to continue to give away some skins using the gifting feature while it's still available. If you want a chance to win, you've got to be friends with me for two days first, so shoot me a friend request on my Epic Games account, PineapplesYT. I'm randomly selecting some of the friend requests to accept and send gifts to. If chosen, you'll be featured in an upcoming video, much like I did earlier today. Just give away some skins to people who supported me on video. It was awesome. Speaking of free skins, I'm actually going to be giving away a free skin to someone who goes and checks out my buddy I Lumpy. He's live right now. He's an up-and-coming Twitch streamer who is one of my good friends. He's a great guy genuinely entertaining so go over there i'll be in the chat room picking someone to win a skin of course you guys know about the ongoing war between the tomato head and the dirt burger right now the food trucks are competing over customers there was even the food fight ltm but it's gotten pretty big it's gotten so big in fact that earlier today wendy's yeah you heard that right the official wendy's account over on twitch went live and showcased a little bit of gameplay in which all of the players were dressed up like wendy it's kind of funny because they're wearing the little red riding hood outfit which looks so much like wendy it's hilarious the little girl on the logo so wendy's is streaming with a bunch of wendy lookalikes saying they are against team burger they are on team pizza because they're fighting against the war on frozen beef it's unclear whether or not wendy's is going to end up being you know another sponsor for fortnite because as we know just a little while ago fortnite teamed up with kfc another fast food restaurant to bring about the tender defender set wendy's is a pretty big brand and i don't think they would literally just go live on fortnite and you know declare their allegiance to team pizza if there wasn't something else involved so i kind of feel like there's going to be some kind of promotion some kind of collaboration between fortnite epic games and wendy's wendy's even went on twitter and said we are on team pizza and we want to start the real fight against frozen beef and then they got a reply from DiGiorno. If you don't know DiGiorno, it's a type of frozen pizza. They responded and said simply thoughts on frozen pizza? Are we getting a Wendy's collab, a DiGiorno collab, maybe even both? I don't know. Very likely it could be two. Let me know which one you would personally prefer to see. You know, if we had to have a collaboration, maybe a Wendy's skin or a DiGiorno pizza skin, which one would you rather see? You know, if there was any sort of collaboration between the two companies, which one would you prefer it be? Personally, I think Wendy's is pretty good for a fast food place, so I wouldn't be mad if it was Wendy's, but I also really like DiGiorno, so I wouldn't be mad at that either. There have been mixed reports recently about players being able to see some kind of a smoke or wind portal right here on the map between the border of the grass and the desert. That definitely looks really interesting. I went into the game personally and tried to figure out what was going on there and I couldn't see anything. I did notice there was a pretty bright spot around the area I was expecting the wind portal to be at. So maybe I'm guessing, you know, the wind portal doesn't appear all the time. Maybe it doesn't appear and load into every game. The reason I really think this might be the case is because if you take a look at where this is forming, it's forming in the areas that were designated from the week 11 loading screen. I've talked about it before in previous videos over the past few days, but very briefly, there are uh, coordinates there on the loading screen. They say G8, G9, H8, and H9. That is roughly the area of Fatal Fields, and it carries over into where this portal is supposedly forming. Something big is almost certainly going to happen there over the course of the next few days or weeks and seeing these portals form around the map is you know something of a uh, reinforcement i've seen a lot of people say they have been seeing these portals not just there but also at other random spots around the map i've also seen a lot of people saying they don't see them so it's kind of mixed and definitely i don't know for sure what's going on but it looks like in a nutshell some players are seeing it some players aren't and what this reminds me of is back in season four when they were teasing a season five the whole worlds collide theme they had random items being teleported to and from fortnite you know they teleported the nom sign away and they brought back some carriage which obviously was a big sign of the desert biome on the way we'll have to see what develops as we continue to progress uh through time with this i don't know what's gonna happen but i kind of feel like something big is on the way Definitely, though, in the comment section below, I need to know, personally, have you seen all of these reps? And I mean, even if you want to go as far as going into the game and checking for yourself and then leaving a comment and telling me whether or not you see it, that would be helpful, too. I'm just trying to gather all the information. 
Someone on Twitter recommended me a Reddit post, so I checked it out, and it's by user Dapper Rogue. He has a pretty big theory about the recent leak of, you know, Tilted Towers being apparently set to be destroyed. It's in the game's coding. This is a pretty long theory, so I'm not going to show it all on screen the entire time, so feel free to pause it and read for yourself if you want. So this theory says all of the three major skins for the last few seasons, the Enforcer, the Visitor, and now the Hunting Party skin, which is AIM, they were all and all are behind an attack on Tilted Towers. Attempt 1 was when the Visitor was sent down to investigate the island and destroy Tilted, but when it tried, a crack in time opened up and sent the rocket ship flying all over the island. In the end, the Visitor went through a massive rift in the air and was never to be seen again. As you know, back in Season 4 when the rocket launched, the Visitor, who was apparently in the rocket, it looked like, was trying to go down and hit Tilted by the way it targeted it, and it even took a direct shot there, but somehow, someway, something saved it, some mysterious force. The second attempt was when the Enforcers were made to get the Visitor back and protect all of the rifts leading to the other dimensions due to the Season 5 events. The Enforcers basically worked as a rift police, Unfortunately, though, the police unit did not help that much and were never to be seen again. So essentially what he's saying here is the reason the enforcers were there was to restore balance, right? Their whole motto was balance must be restored. And this theory is claiming that balance simply meant making sure that the visitor was safe. They went through all the portals and the rifts were created to follow the visitor through whatever rift he went through so they could get him back. Finally, the third attempt was the AIM robot being sent out to annihilate everything in its path. But when a massive ice storm came, the robot couldn't get far and parachuted to the island. It landed at flush and went into stealth mode. This meant it could not attack nor cause any attention, therefore it acted like a spy. The robot spied on any humans in its path, collecting data. Eventually, AIM got its opportunity to get over to Tilted and start the job it was intended to do. On top of everything, that line in the coding that says Tilted is going to get destroyed is referring to a bunch of robots, a collective group of robots. Well, AIM is a robot and his description says scanning the area for targets. It seems like he's on a destructive path and I wouldn't be surprised if AIM is one of many other robots and he's simply scouting out the area before they can make their attack on Tilted Towers. Tilted has been rumored to be deleted for so many different reasons and occasions and so many times it's been brought up but I don't know man I feel like this finally kind of makes sense not to say the other times didn't make sense because back in season three everyone was basically 100% confident that Meteor was gonna slam tilted sure enough it didn't it do be like that sometimes but I feel like the very simple fact that AIM is a robot and there are lines of coding suggesting tilted could be destroyed by a robot that seems like it could be something of concern for Fortnite if you're a fan. Would you be affected by Tilted in a positive or negative way if it were completely obliterated from the game? Because I know it's one of the most fan favorite landing spots, but I'm curious just personally, would you like the game more or less if Tilted was destroyed for whatever reason? Personally, I don't really care. I could, you know, have it go either way. I'm just curious as to what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed. Make sure to come over and check out iLumpy if you're watching this video within the first four or five hours that this is out. He's going to be live. He is a great Fortnite player, a great person. Definitely deserves your follow. Hope you have a great day. I'll catch you later, and peace out.